Hi. Oliver Tree released 20 versions of the same song, but are any of them good? Don't get me wrong, I, like many other people, used to be a fan of Oliver Tree. I was interested in what he was doing. He yeah, had the two good songs, um, the rest were okay. But then he started to go really viral for the annoying things he would do with the Supreme Patty-esque things, only a tad bit less insane. So he started leaning into the annoying aspects of his personality, and now he's just annoying, and... I don't know, apparently he tried to switch things up by going country or something in last year or whatever, but lo and behold, a producer called South Star decided to remix one of his old songs from 2020 called Jerk, and by the power of TikTok, it is now one of those songs you get to hear 20 times a day. My girlfriend likes it. I think it sucks. But maybe it didn't suck at one point throughout these whole 20 releases. I'm not sure, because I've never listened to the song the full way through. I've never decided, hey, I'm gonna listen to this song because the moment I heard it, I've always hated it. So, I'm giving Oliver Tree the benefit of the doubt this one time. I'm gonna listen to all 20 of his releases so you don't have to. And we're gonna see if any of them are actually worth listening to. Enjoy. I'll include little two second clips of each song so you get a general vibe of what the song is and hopefully that'll be uh, little enough to not get me in any trouble. So we start with the original song which is called Jerk and it's from his 2020 album, the first album he dropped. It's vaguely familiar, probably only because I gave this album like one listen when it first dropped, and I was very uninterested because he just uh, he didn't put out the ba he didn't put out the bangers like he used to, and it was not exciting. So. I just never went back to that album after the first listen, but uh, this song, while it sounds like he's just trying to make another hurt, is uh, a little bit refreshing to listen to because it brings me back to his older style before whatever the fuck happened. So on an Oliver Tree scale, I'm going to give this one 8 Oliver Trees out of 10. So the second song is the original remix by South Star, and you might have heard the story behind this one. I'll give a quick refresher for the people who don't. South Star made this remix, and then Oliver Tree's label noticed it, I guess, I reached out to South Star and offered to let them release it officially and get royalties from streaming and, you know, not get sued by the record label for taking Oliver Tree's song and remixing it. So they went and did that and then they released the song on all the platforms and whatever and then they released Oliver Tree's version the next week. Which is pretty scummy. I mean, why not just release the Oliver Tree version if you were gonna do that already and give Self Star writing and production credits? Which they didn't do anyway. But I am glad they released this one because I actually like this one. It's kind of like a hyper-pop dance take on the original song. And I think South Star has a good voice for the song. If it was something that wasn't so oversaturated by TikTok, I might actually find myself listening to this occasionally as a relatively good dance track. But because of TikTok, I don't think that'll be happening. I give this one 10 Oliver Trees out of 10. I think this is the best it's gonna get. With every song, there must be a sped up remix version of it. It's rule number one. Uh, no, it's rule number two of music, actually. Rule number one is with every song, there must be a slow and reverb version. Rules number three and four are if those versions of those songs haven't been created, then they will be. And I mean, it's not 
the worst because it's still got that dance vibe. It's kind of a funny commentary on our attention spans, actually. They've gotten so short that we even have to consume our music faster, apparently. And I also have to retract points because I know this is the beginning of the end for this song. Seven Oliver Trees out of ten. Oliver Tree took everything that was good about the original song and Self Stars remix and fucking mutilated it. The beat is worse, the tempo is just a tad bit too slow. The only semi original thing that is in the song is the beat kind of picks up in the chorus, but uh, other than that, all he did was make the song worse. There was no reason for this song to be made, and he could have just promoted the better version of the song, which would have been the cooler thing to do instead of stealing it. This song gets uh, three Oliver Trees out of ten because I think it could get worse from here still. This is the one that you've probably heard a million times. It's everywhere, it's just another one of those songs that people use for any sort of fucking video. And since it's the sped up version, you'd think it would feel like it took me less time to listen to than the other version, but that is incorrect. I did not like listening to that song in its entirety. It's repetitive. It can be done right sometimes, but I mostly hate songs that just repeat the same verse, the same chorus, the same verse, the same chorus, and then that's the song. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give this a one Oliver Tree. One Oliver Tree. I don't want to listen to this song ever again, but I know I'm gonna still have to hear it for a little bit longer. It'll fall out of rotation soon enough. Oliver Tree got this song remixed by a bunch of random ass people. I don't know who any of these people are. This one is by Yosef and Dionysus. Uh, the sounded a little bit promising at first, but the synth was a bit choppy and it didn't really sound good. This song seems to maybe be where they started to lean more into the funk influence. And for that, I don't know, this one, one Oliver Tree, don't like it. Bozubuck came in with a bit of an ambient vibe, and I actually didn't want to claw my eyes out listening to this one. It was, it was, it was all, right. all right, but then he made it a little bit too long and then it sucked. And it would have been fine if it wasn't just, again, repetitive, the same thing again. So, I mean, it's better than the last one. Three? Three Oliver Trees? No, we'll give this one a four. It's better than the uh, original. This next one, it brings back the dance theme, also a little bit leaning on the funk theme, but not, it's more like late 2000s dance remix era where everything had to be a dance remix. So, I don't know, I mean, four, four, four out of ten, same, same as the last one, it was, no, it was too repetitive, we'll give it a three out of ten, back to, we're gonna, we'll flip flop on all of these. I'm very precise on my Oliver Tree Miss You ranking scale because it has to be accurate. This one, it had a bit of an interesting vibe to it, better than the previous one. It was also dance-based mostly, but I just don't get why they all have to be so repetitive. I mean, I guess they don't have much to work with with the original song. I don't know, I think we're like almost halfway through. We'll give this one a solid four Oliver Trees. Well, I won't go back on this one. This one's epic. It kind of reminded me of dubstep era music, except it wasn't dubstep because the bass never rose or dropped or did anything, but it was still all right. It was, it was all right. This one was okay, I just, I think it would have been better if the bass rose or dropped. So that would have made this an alright remix. Five, five Oliver Trees out of ten. This one was okay. Unlike the last one, the bass actually rose and dropped, which was good. I liked that. And it tried its best not to be repetitive. Pretty, pretty interesting production, too. I think I'll give this one a, a seven. S a seven, Oliver. 
They called this one Jerk Sped Up version, but don't be fooled. It's also Jerk Trap Remix version, and they repeated it four times. If you forgot that it's all the same song, then this song is here to remind you that it's all the same song. Like, you would hope that South Star is getting royalties off all these songs for them all copying his idea, but, like, probably not. I don't know, hopefully, in a perfect world, that would be the case. But this song gets a one Oliver Tree. This one's called the Funk Remix, but it's not even really fast enough to be funk. It's all just the same song. It's just the same song. Why did they have to keep releasing the same song? Uh, two out of ten for funk. This one was one of the longest and most boring remixes I had to listen to. Nothing new to the table. And there are people actually listening to this shit too. Don't be fooled. 35 million listeners on Spotify alone. Number's probably gonna go down when he stops trending, if he ever stops trending. It seems like he always has a new song trending, apparently. One Oliver Tree out of ten. Not good. It's like he took every remix that he was submitted and just posted them all. Like, who are these people? It's just the It's really just the same song again. I just... I don't know why I subjected myself to this one. One of the Oliver Trees. Oh, this is the popular one. This is another one you might have also heard a hundred million times. They changed the title for some reason and gave the song to someone else and said it was featuring Oliver Tree, but don't be wrong, don't be fooled, it was it's still the same song. Oh no, they added a little bit of Cowbell, so it's a different song now. Even further detached from South Star's remix. One Oliver Tree, zero Oliver Trees. I want to stop listening to this song. Just the same song again and sped up. Except it's barely sped up, it's mostly only pitched up. I know it's like typical for songs to get remixed like four or five times when they're popular. But usually when they do that, it's in order to try and reach different genres, reach a wider audience. Not make the same song 20 times. If I gave the last one a zero, I'd have to give this a negative one Oliver Tree, a evil Oliver Tree, if you will. Oh, well, this one's literally the same song, only extended for some reason because we needed that. And I don't know why the titles are getting so long for these ones either. I mean, this one says drift and funk in the title twice. But for this one, I'm gonna have to give it a one. That's right, baby, we're moving back up to the positive scale because for those 40 extended seconds of bliss, I did not have to listen to Oliver Tree anymore. It was just uh, drift funk beats. Oh, well, they called this one the Sigma remix. I don't really know what's Sigma about it. They have all these weird tempo changes in it. Sigma males don't stick to one tempo in their song. Guys, they would experiment with multiple tempos. Sticking to one tempo is for alpha and beta cucks and also the other cucks. Ah, oh, one out of 10. I think we're almost done with this, thank God. <laughs> This one was refreshing because it was the first time in the two hours. That's how long it took me with all the song listening and all the video segments. I didn't have to listen to that repetitive verse and chorus, although my brain was just filling in the gaps at this point. But the production was all right without his voice and the cowbell funk drop kind of fucked it up, but if you're just looking at it from a production standpoint, we'll give it a uh, 5 out of 10. 5. I don't know why I'm surprised, but he released another version between the time I filmed this and the time that I'm editing this. 
Although I guess I shouldn't be surprised because I am the one who said earlier, well, number one is with every song there must be a slow and reverbed version. I guess that brings the total number to 21 songs now. But if you thought this one was gonna be any better, I am sorry to disappoint. There's like a handful of songs that sound good and a slow and reverb and the rest is just kind of throwing shit at the wall to see what sticks. Man, we're back down to zero for this one. And with that, I'm finally done. Here's the list, but don't listen to any of these songs. I did it so you don't have to. There are so many better songs out there that you could go listen to now. I don't know why Oliver Tree just has to take one viral hit and fucking drill it into the ground until it's dead nowadays. I wish he could just put his creative output out there and let it flow like most people usually do. But hey, I heard that he did a different direction when he did a country album or something. So, if this video gets 50 likes, I will do a listen of Oliver Tree's country album. Rank it song by song, and what the hell, I will also do his first album, and I will let you guys know which one is better, so you don't have to. Thank you for watching, and I hope you like this video, because... I will be making some more.